bioidentical hormone therapy, sometimes called BHT, is really a misnomer. And it's really sad. There are so many patients who believe that this is a safer way to give hormone therapy. Many of the doctors who do so are also involved in the anti-aging movement. I sometimes like to say they used to sell snake oil out of the back of covered wagons. Now they sell it on the internet. The problem with most bioidentical hormone therapy is that it is compounded. It means it is made up by a pharmacist with the guise that it's going to be special for you and sometimes they'll do salivary testing for your levels. And unlike thyroid disease, this really is not based on levels. It's based on symptoms. Moore Magazine published an article several years ago where they took 12 things that were compounded and sent them to an independent lab. Not one of them had the exact amount or thing that was supposed to have. Your only assurance when something is compounded that it's of quality is the fact that the pharmacist is licensed in that state. When something is made pharmaceutically, the FDA has control over its manufacture. If people truly want bioidentical hormones, in other words, the hormone that the ovary made before they were menopausal, these can be prescribed pharmaceutically and quality controlled. But there are different kinds of estrogens. And some of these estrogens are safer than others. The bioidentical movement does not come with any package insert. It is not safer than traditional hormones. And all of us who are leaders in the menopause field have had a handful of patients who have developed uterine cancers on these bioidentical hormones because there wasn't enough progesterone to protect the uterus.